Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Mazda MX-5. I've had a few requests to do a sort of, sort of POV sort of video. So I'm doing one of those, just to show you guys the perspective of actually driving the car itself. I'm going to get a few weird looks with these people going by. Yeah, look at that, everyone looking at me. <laughs> uh, I will drive in just a minute, I just thought I'd talk to you guys for a short while first before you you know get deafened by the exhaust but uh, a lot of people were asking about the build so far k and air filter i've now used a bit of garden furniture really as a cold air rerouter so we, we're getting cold air straight into the intake which is good got the um jap speed decat of course this guy's speeding he's gonna get in trouble sq7 though yeah, but uh, yeah, we got the Jap Speed Decat and we've got the Malian rear box. Next month is tires and possibly brakes. I'm probably just going to get standard brakes though because grooved and vented ones are a little bit too expensive. But I'll start her up. Passenger window is open, so it might be a bit louder. I'm going to drop that ever so slightly so you can actually... Let me... There we go. Yeah, it's all right. You can still see my hands and everything. Um, seat belts on, of course, always safety first. Even though you know, it's bollocks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm basically going to be driving and just talking to you guys. So let's set off real quick, check mirrors. guys for that even though i've been a little bit inactive as of recent but i am starting to build up the channel again get some more videos going uh i also want to say that a few of you have requested a donation button for my live streams and, and stuff like that so i have gone ahead and set up a stream labs which in future live streams i will have a little stream labs link in the description if you want to donate uh, you don't have to, it's it's not necessary at all, I just, you know, everyone kept asking for it, so I've put it in there, but don't feel like you have to donate or anything like that, I'm not trying to get that to anyone, but, you know, if if you feel you want to, you can do, it's there for you, but yeah, it's not, uh, not an obligation. Uh, other build updates, I've had a few comments suggesting Bilstein shocks and dampers and stuff like that and take it on a track day. Don't worry, all these things are in planning. I'll put the window up now so you can actually hear me. I'll put both of them up in fact. Yeah, these things are in planning. So I will be getting them soon, don't worry. They are on the list. Uh, so I... Uh, maybe uh, some sort of high performance coil or uh, a camshaft or something like that. Uh, I've been looking at all my options out there so you don't have to worry about the build. The build is coming along. Uh, I've also had a few requests for videos of putting like the exhaust for example, obviously I've put that on. Uh, I've had a few people ask um, can I do videos of putting stuff like that on. Now yeah I can. Uh, and I probably will do now in the future Because I have actually got quite a lot of requests to do stuff like that So yeah, be sure to look out for stuff like that when I get the parts of course Like new brake discs and, and tires obviously the easy things I'm not sure if you guys want to see a video of putting new brake discs on or something like that But if you do, you know, feel free to comment, let me know And uh if there's a number of people who want to see me do that, then I'll do it. I'll record it for you guys. Um, other questions, I F1. Uh, uh, a few of you were asking when is F1 returning. It's back. I'm going to try and get it out as frequently as I can. But of course, 
I do still have to get on with daily life. It's not like I can just drop everything to, to stream F1, basically. I am trying my best to, to get some time to do it, but it's just not always gonna happen straight away. If you wanted to see this POV cam, so I'm, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, a lot of you uh, wanted to know what the MX-5 is like as well, because obviously I did that first introductionary video, and then I did a video driving around it, asking a similar sort of questions to what I am doing now. But uh, with the new parts on it, it feels a lot more responsive on the power. Uh, the brakes are feeling a little bit rubbish right, right now, because yeah, the the pretty knackered if I'm honest the tires also are pretty knackered but yeah I am getting new ones so I don't have to worry about that for long uh, it is my birthday next month as well so who knows maybe I'll get some sort of uh, prize sort of thing for that that I can put on my car hopefully <laughs> like maybe a lip kit or something like that but yeah I'll just blow my smoke the other way sorry about that but yeah, a few guys, a few guys uh, were asking, uh, what's going on with the channel? Why, why am I not posting as frequently and stuff like that? And it's, as I said, you know, sometimes real life gets in the way, which it has been doing a lot recently, if I'm honest. So I apologise for that. I'm gonna try and get like a little pedal cam, maybe, so you guys can see what I'm actually doing with the throttle and that. That'd be quite cool to see. Again, feel free to let me know if, if you guys want to see that. Um, another uh, another question. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to look at my phone whilst uh, you know getting questions and stuff like that. I'm not holding my phone or anything like that. It's just sat on the passenger seat. A few of you guys want to know, am I still playing GT Sport? Yes, I am. I'm still playing GT Sport. I don't really do a lot of live streams on it anymore because the game's kind of gone it's got it's gone very quiet GT Sport not a lot of people are actually playing it anymore which is a little bit difficult when it comes to videos because every time you do get in a lobby there's like either always lots of idiots or the lobby's just too quiet to record people looking around there seeing what what that noise was <laughs> Still loving the, the short throw notch your gearbox, that's awesome. I apologise for these little quiet stints, I'm trying to read the, the comments and questions like I said. But yeah, uh, Streamlabs is now up and running so I will have that in my uh, future uploads. I have a Discord as well, which I'm going to try and put in my live streams as well. I don't want it all just getting a bit clogged up though, you know, with links here, there and everywhere, I don't want it looking a bit scruffy but uh, I also I also almost got caught by a police radar gun which was uh, quite annoying I wasn't speeding or anything like that well I was I was speeding which I shouldn't be but I was sat behind another car and luckily I think because I was sat behind another car they didn't get me so that that was quite lucky we've got a few cars behind us but there's not really much I can do unless I overtake but it's no point because it goes to a 30 zone in a minute anyway I may, as, I may as well just sit behind him. Uh, track days. Now, a lot of you want me to go to a track day. I will be doing track days. It's just a case of getting prepared for them, i.e. new brakes, new tyres, stuff like that, and then I'll get going to track days. Uh, Go-karting, a few of you want to see me doing some go-karting, so I'll get videos of that out as well when I go. Uh, but yeah, we've got a lot of things to look forward to on the channel, which is good. And uh, I really appreciate all the feedback and support that you guys are giving me recently. It, it really helps out, you know, giving me ideas, stuff like that. Uh, and I'm, I've been planning for a while now GT Sport races, you know, like long endurance races and stuff like that. But I just can't get enough people wanting to partake. So if you want to partake in one of them videos, then, then let me know. Uh, I'll definitely invite you and stuff like that, so... Yeah, if you guys want to partake in videos like that, feel free to let me know and I will send you an invite. 
Uh, other people want to see videos of me washing my car. I mean, that's not really something that I, I, I would put up on YouTube because it's not, I'm not a detailer or anything like that. Like, I know how to clean a car and how to polish and stuff like that, but I'm not a detailer by any stretch of the means, so I don't think that'll be happening really. And I do apologize that there's traffic everywhere. I wanted to do a little bit of spirited driving, but not much I can do when the roads are clogged up like this. Uh, more feedback. A few of you saying you don't like the F1 style. Saying that the, the camera position is wrong, you should do it in the cockpit. Now, I prefer to drive in the T-cam. I like seeing where the front wheels are in relation to other cars and stuff like that. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to change the camera for that. But speaking of cameras, a few of you guys want to see a sort of wheel cam, but I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, I don't have a wheel. <laughs> I know it's going to shock a few of you, especially some some committed viewers maybe, because people have been asking for a wheel cam for a, a little while now, but I just, I'm on a controller, I don't have the space for a wheel at the moment and stuff like that, and I can't afford one. I don't have that sort of money to be throwing away, so unfortunately that's not going to happen like immediately maybe a little bit later down the line if I get a proper setup and stuff like that then I can obviously of course go to stuff like that um, but yeah I'm just really trying to focus on the streams you know get get that side of things working well which it has been doing actually a lot of you guys have been telling me I'm doing a good job so I appreciate that uh, which way do I want to go I'll go left why not idea what's up here. Don't want to be speeding. I believe this is a 40 road so I'll keep speeding now. Sorry I'm just trying to read questions again. <laughs> what does the Mazda do to the gallon? Um, I don't actually know. <laughs> I believe the tank is about nine gallon, like from empty, and I get about 270 miles off a full tank, so that puts it somewhere in the region of about 25 to the gallon, maybe, somewhere like that, which isn't actually very good at all, considering it's 1.8. I was expecting it to be quite a lot better on fuel, but I do hammer it at the end of the day. Uh, regular maintenance videos you guys want to see them so like spark plugs and oil changes and stuff like that I can do them obviously the first thing I did when I got the car was service it and get it all clean and everything like that so I can quite easily do them videos for you if you want to see them but uh, yeah this is just a little update video and sort of a POV sort of thing because I know you guys want to see uh, a few of you have been asking me to do daily vlogs now Daily vlogs isn't really, um, what's the word, it's it's not really something that I can do, because usually when I'm, when I'm in my car, I'm either just going for a drive, in which case I sometimes record it anyway, or I'm, I'm going to work or something like that, and I car share and stuff like that, so I pick people up from work and take them to it and stuff like that, so it'd be a bit awkward to talk about stuff like that with other people in my car. So, un unless my situation changes drastically, daily vlogs aren't really going to happen. Obviously, I don't mind doing the odd video like this, catching you guys all up to speed and stuff like that. But yeah, daily vlogs aren't really my sort of forte, I want to say. It's not really what I got into being a YouTuber for. You know, my YouTube is, is racing that's that's the key thing I want to do racing and maybe some IRL videos like this obviously I'm turning this into a track day car so obviously it's, it's, it's going to get more frequent on my channel more IRL stuff but I don't want it to just be IRL stuff is, is what I'm saying uh, a few more questions and then I'll pretty much end the video after these questions because yeah I, I just thought I'd catch you guys up and stuff like that Matt, Matt something, I can't read your full name, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll get demonetized for it. 
But he, he asked what sort of wheel I use. So I've gone through that. I don't use a wheel. I use a controller. Mainly because I can't afford a wheel and because I don't have the space for one. But uh, yeah, if, if there ever comes a time where I can get a wheel, don't worry guys, I will get one. I'm not just going to constantly stay on a controller forever. We're going to be sat here for a long while, I think. Unless a chance becomes immediately available. Which it's not looking likely. I'm getting a few strange looks, obviously, with the GoPro on. Here we go. driving for you guys. I'll try and give it a little bit on this uh, dual carriageway. Let's see what we can do. Obviously, if, if there's too much traffic, then I can't do it. Or if there's police, then I can't do it. Look at the Vauxhall Vectra. Not sure if you guys can see that but it looks a mess gotta stop here because there's a car but yeah that pretty much does it for this video i hope you guys are all up to speed and stuff like that with how the channel's going and what what i'm going to do in the future during the live streams recently has been really high so I gotta say thank you for that I've had a lot of support in recent videos and stuff like that which you know it always helps out the channel always helps me out gives me a bit a bit more uh, confidence and a bit more approach because I know what I can do with videos what you guys are like so 